Welcome back to the channel, welcome back guys, welcome back to all my old viewers and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. So if you don't know, my name is George and I do cocktails on this channel, yeah, pretty much that's all we do. Sometimes we do uh, homemade ingredients and things like that, so many things happen, but if you're new to the channel, thanks for sticking around, uh, please stay around. Uh, maybe consider to subscribe if you feel like it if you like the video and yeah thanks for watching so today we're doing a lovely cocktail which i did a few nights ago behind the bar i do have a series on instagram where i do an edit video so i just basically put my phone and i do a cocktail and i record and i share on my instagram so far I have nearly 10,000 views for less than five days which is fantastic uh, it doesn't do the same on YouTube, I don't know why, but hey, social media is totally different beast and it's quite difficult to understand it. However, having a, over 200,000 views on Instagram doesn't mean I'm going to have them here, but it's a different story. What I do on Instagram is just make the cocktail, no talking, no nothing, just three minutes, boom, bam, quick, and that's it. Here we're going to go and we're going more deeply to the cocktail so you understand why it's this cocktail and what is the test and so on and so on so today we're doing a cocktail called the lost plane we need a nick and nora glass for this cocktail it's certainly nick and nora glass i will chill the glass when when i'm having a little chat with you just gonna leave it here with some ice so the the lost plane uh it's a wonderful slow sip cocktail again it's based on uh, spirits only, just with uh, some lime juice introduced to the cocktail, but it's fantastic. And uh, I don't know, I'm probably gonna consider it as a aperitivo cocktail because of the ingredients inside, which two of them, it's Aperol and Amaro, they're bitter ingredients and they usually are served as a aperitivo. So to boost your appetite, to cleanse your palate, and uh, just give you this kind of a different, uh, a feeling of uh, flavors and open up your palate to another flavor. So I will say it's probably, yeah, aperitivo cocktail. However, it could be easily like just a night cocktail or dessert or whatever you decide, you can drink it anytime. Originally the cocktail was introduced with a dark Jamaican rum, uh, but after a few different things, I, I did it, for example, on my Instagram with Kraken rum. And today, uh, I didn't try yet, so we'll see how it's gonna turn out. I'm using Flor de Cara Nicaraguan Rome. Now, I wanted to try it because it's 12 years old Rome. It's aged in the base of the active volcano, and it's pretty much one of my favorite Rome. Now, Flor de Cara, it's not just a Rome, any Rome, but it's one of the first uh, fair trade spirits, yeah? So anything they do, they bring back to the community. Also, it's a sugar-free and it's 100% distilled with a reusable energy and a carbon-free. So it's one of those products which bring back to the community, bring back to the nature and doesn't do any harm to it. It's uh, distilled in a, like I say, in the base of the active volcano. So they're using all the natural resources to distill, to produce power, to reuse this power and everything is basically like a one big circle everything is staying in the place nothing uh, harm the nature and end of the day they produce fantastic rum in Nicaragua so Lord de Cana, the 12 years old uh, you can have seven years old or even older but it's a wonderful rum so the cocktail is very simple it's only four ingredients in equal measures so it's all of them is 25 ml the original recipe is uh, required for 22.5 ml but i go with uh, 25 ml and I find a really good balance. So, should we make it? Let's make it. Okay. You need a shaker, obviously. It's gonna be a very brief shake because we had the lime juice, so we need to make sure it's uh, mixed perfect. So we have equal measures. So first we start with Flor de Cana, 12 years old, 25 ml. Uh, as I mentioned, you can go with the original recipe if you have Jamaican dark rum absolutely fantastic with this one it's going to be a little bit lighter and it's going to give a little bit more breathing space to the aperitivos and the bitters from the amaro then we have 25 ml of the aperol as well now if you're not a big fan of, uh, of bitters i don't know if this cocktail is going to be for you but 
uh, after making the cocktail on Instagram and uh, giving to my colleagues to try and some of them are not bitter fans they quite like it actually because the lemon and the rum it softens the bitterness of the both uh, Amaro and the Aperitivo and they're not that bitter like for example the Campari they have a very much more balanced flavor of the botanicals and uh, of the ingredients they used to produce these bitters so 25 ml Amaro I'm using Amaro Montenegro you can use any Amaro you have uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter to be honest like if you follow me on Instagram you'll see I use crack and roll instead of uh, Jamaican and I use uh, Italian Amaro really nice but you know what I mean it's it's up to you really now we have we need a lime so I'm just gonna grab here lovely so it's 25 ml of the lime I will try to squeeze in my measure because I want to be precise to be honest with you uh, this is one of those cocktails when if you introduce one or one of the ingredients more you're gonna change totally the overall flavor of the cocktail so let's see it should give me half a good lime like this one like you see this is a big lime so it's a very nice it should give me one half should give me 25 mil easily so there you go yeah exactly 25 mil just one half of the line right we can put this away because we not needed uh, the garnish for this cocktail it's uh, basically a orange zest if you want to use it the reason why it's using orange zest zest sorry not the lime the lime it's using the juice just to modify the cocktail to bound to bond together the rum with the bitters and also to soften a little bit this bitterness and make it really nice and pleasant balanced the drink when the orange it's a very good pairing flavor with bitters you know Campari with orange always or Amaro or Aperol for Aperol spritz the garnish is orange rum also go very well with orange so the zest is gonna give this smell sentence which is going to combine very nice smell in the palate test for you when you drink the cocktail so I'm gonna drop some ice inside and I'm gonna give it a, a very little brief shake okay that's it you don't need to go too much shaking it's just basically helping to mix the ingredients now Nick and Nora is chill the glass I will put it here and as always when you shake with the Boston shaker and when you have juices and ice especially with clear cocktails like this two double strengths so you prevent any small bits of the cracked ice to go in the glass it's more about aesthetic it's not it's not gonna change the flavor of the cocktail but when you serve it for example if you're doing it at home fair enough but if you're serving it in a bar or, or for your guests there won't be any floating small pieces of ice on the top of the cocktail so it's gonna be like aesthetically nice okay so there you go the lost plane a wonderful beautiful color it's uh, because obviously the rum it's uh, it's a brownish gold color the amaro is well it's brown and then the red was from the aperol uh, if you use jamaican dark rum it's gonna be darker but uh, pretty much it's gonna be staying like this nice lovely warm color now i'm just gonna grab uh, a little orange zest let's see let's do it this way you don't have to use garnish as i mentioned this is uh, most likely you want to impress people or if you're serving it's it sometimes it's nice but it's not necessary and uh, when i'm saying this flor de cana for example if you follow them on instagram or check them online <coughs> they're very big supporters of the sustainable serving and uh many bars now these days start doing sustainable serving what this means is uh, we use uh, garnishes as little as possible or we use garnish pretty much from the flower to from root to the flower so what this means it's uh, if i use the zest of this orange then i'm gonna dehydrate the rest of it or i'm gonna squeeze it and use it as a juice so pretty much i'm using 90 percent of the fruit to 
to be used in any cocktail. For example, if I have uh, left zest, I can collect them with some little bit sugar, leave them overnight to extract the oils, and I'm gonna have olesaccharum syrup, which I can use in cocktails. So that's what it is, pretty much sustainable. Uh, so we stop uh, wasting food and stop uh, throwing things around and just I think it's good for the nature and it's good for everyone. So I, I as you can see I did a little two cuts in the middle so I'm just gonna give a little squeeze on the top of the drink if I extract any oils and then I'm gonna bend it like that put on one of the cuts and there you have it guys this is the lost plane let's see oh boy it's a wonderful cocktail if you like rum if you like me like a little bit of bitterness in your cocktails it's fantastically balanced you have the rum kicking out then the Amaro and Aperol were their magic together. I don't know how this is happening, but if you drink them on their own, they will be definitely more bitter than how they are in the moment. You still have this slight bitterness on the tongue, but then you, you have this kick from the line, like a sweet zesty, which is kind of wash out this bitterness and you, you, you stay with just like a lovely overall warm feeling. Yeah. I do love it and uh, yeah video may be a little bit longer but I did decide no rush anymore uh, if you really want to see the cocktail and you want to learn something about it I know you're gonna stick around so I hope you enjoyed this video guys my name is George thank you for watching just shake or steer and once again if you're new to the channel and if you managed to stay till this point it's much appreciated so hit this like button and also subscribe and if you want to be notified for upcoming videos usually I do every Thursday and sometimes Sunday you can click the small bell on the side this is gonna enable 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 yeah it's gonna enable your notifications so when I post video you're gonna have notification the video is up so you can watch it and never miss one uh, apart from that Thanks again for sticking out. Thanks again for watching Just Shake or Steer. Check all my cocktails, my different playlists, which is separated by the base spirit. So if you're a fan of different spirits, you can find some cocktails and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, enjoy, stay safe. And uh, as always, I love you. And I leave you now with the Lost Plane. Bye-bye. So what do you think about the cocktail? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I like it. I like it. Yeah. Oh, you like, like it. it. Okay. But what do you like it? Mm. It's drinkable. Yeah. Oh, it's drinkable. It's drinkable. Really? Right. So should I share it with the people on the channel? Oh yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should. You, you should share okay. it with the people on the channel. Yeah, definitely you should. Yeah, I should. Okay. Uh, can I go now? Right. Can I go now? Yeah. Have a good day. I'll go and okay. Make one now for my people on the channel. Okay. Can I take yeah, it with you me? Can take it with you. Bye bye. Can I? Can, can I, I take bye. it with me? Yeah. Bye. Bye. bye.